You know what, Trevor, I just realized today? What? What's that? We're getting to the time of year that a certain series of videos are going to start coming out. Oh, yeah. I know exactly you know what, what I'm talking, talking about? about. Is it because it's behind it. our backs? I've trademarked it. What do you trademark it as? Pow, 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 top five videos. Pow, 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 pow. So we've done a lot of our individual wah, 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 reviews. Wah, wah. And um, we've been uh, really dialing in a bunch of equipment. So now it's time to start doing versus matches, which are my favorites. Yep. What do we got today? What's behind our backs? Top five tour golf balls. Golf balls. So we got LA Golf, one of our favorites. Strixon. Chrome Tours. TP5s. And of course, the mainstay Pro V1s. Big dog. Pro so v there's obviously more than that. We're missing some Bridgestones, some Wilsons. We've been tinkering with a lot of balls. Yeah. These are our five favorites. Now Tate's gonna be testing. Usually he swings a little faster than me. He likes the higher compression balls. Yep. I'll be testing sort of the regular. Usually not every ball is the same, but you know, usually the non-Xs. Potato, potato. So. We're going to give you the side-by-sides and tell you what is important in a golf ball and, and what's probably going to end up in our bag. And at the end of this video, we're going to rank them one through five and tell you which ball is our favorite. Don't forget guys, if you're in the Denver metro area and you want to test out some of these balls or come in and get yourself a dozen, come in, see us. Um, you can also check out on our website soon to come. We're building that website right now, but if you have questions or you want to get fitted for something, shoot us an email here. If you want to get something on order, Trevor and I, Trevor or I will email you back, or you can call or text the sales staff up there. I have five of our favorite tour balls that have tested and, and went the best for us in our reviews and actually playing. We've taken a lot of these on the course, played rounds with them. Now it's time to hit them, get some data now, and then rank them one to five. Which one's gonna be number one? Which one's gonna be number five? Let's find out. Okay, so Tate and I have been doing a lot of ball testing this last year, and every time I think we get a little bit better at it and start to realize what we're looking for. Now, first off, I think one of the biggest mistakes that golfers make is not doing a proper ball fitting. Yeah. Because what we've learned is there's a big difference in balls, not just tour balls, but balls in general. Yeah. And the big, other biggest mistake is if you're trying to improve, you can't just play with whatever ball you find on the course. Yeah. You can't do it. Uh, there's different spins, there's different feel. You, even different if you're flights. playing a cheap ball, an affordable ball, you need to be consistent and play that same ball. Find it, get the proper ball, find it and play it. Play it for the whole summer. Yeah. You'll notice a big difference. So let's start hitting some wedge shots. We're gonna do 75 yard shots. We're gonna start with the Strixon. Tate currently is gaming the Strixon XV. Yish. And I'm, I'm gonna hit the regular Strixon. I, I gamed the Strixon all last summer and I loved it. Now, just talk to me about your, your bias. Yeah. Every golfer has bias. Going into these top five, what are you biased towards um, before you hit? If I'm walking into a pro shop, every ball is the exact same price, I would prefer my inside gut to see TaylorMade. TP5s? Yeah, TP5s. Why? You just love them? That's just what I like. I like the branding. I like the way the name looks. I've played them. I've shot some of my best rounds with TaylorMades. I've shot my best round ever with the Strixon. Um, but I don't know why. I think it's more brand than anything. Yeah, I personally am biased towards the regular Strixon because I played with it all last summer and had a great season. Yeah. And it was the first time I ever got backspin on the green. My divot would be out in front of the ball. Yeah. And uh, some of that's ball striking. And the ball just wouldn't move on driver. It just stayed yeah. put, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute, what characteristics are the most important to me mm -hmm. when I'm getting fit for a ball. I also love the TP5 picks. I just love the way it the looks. The picks are sweet. Attractive wise. Uh, I'm biased against Pro V1 just because everyone plays Pro V1. Everyone yeah. thinks they need Pro V1 and a lot of players don't need a Pro V1. And a lot of the new balls have gotten so good and it's unfortunate people aren't trying them out because they're awesome. Yeah. So let's start with the Strixon. We're gonna do 75 yard shots. Yep, so Tate's playing. So Tate's doing the higher compression. XV, I'll be testing the, the mid compressions. So I'm playing the regular Z-Star. Now while Tate's doing some shots, I'm gonna tell you what's the most important to me, I think in a ball fitting, especially from an amateur point of view. Now people say hey, you want more greenside spin, you want higher launch on your irons, you know, less spin on your driver, good alignment aids on putting. Um, 
for me as an amateur, and I think this applies to a lot of amateurs, you can get caught up in doing a little bit too much research. Um, I think it, you can boil it down to two simple things as an amateur. Um, all of them are gonna spin enough. So don't really worry about green side spin. They're all fantastic in that regard. I think there's two main things we wanna focus on. For me, I like uh, an alignment aid for putting. It helps me on those you know, five to seven foot putts, I think is really gonna shave strokes. As amateurs, we got to shave strokes off our game. So a good alignment aid. So for me, I'm looking at the Strixon Divides, TP5 Picks, the Chrome Tours um, have awesome alignment aids. I think that can help me on putting. So I'm automatically biased to those where there's visual alignment aids to help me. We'll also look a, a little bit on durability here. We got brand new crispy Cleveland full face wedges and these things will cut up a golf ball. So we'll kind of know which one's the most durable. TP5s, TaylorMade sent us a little sample pack but obviously a five layer golf ball. And they're known for that, right? There's not a whole lot of brands that do a five layer. And when we tested layer. this brand new, no, they're one of the only ones. When we tested this new ball, we really liked it. And we cut it open. There is for sure five layers. Yeah, they're not joking with that. All right, TP5X, 75 yards. I Yanked love it. the picks. Sit down, sit down, catch a piece. Man, if I'm 75 yards out and I do that, What's on deck here? Uh, Pro V1X. You're going Pro V1X? I'm going Pro V1X, left dash. So you're going the highest compression. So that left dash there is, gives me the highest compression, which is what I want. Let's see how, let's see how it fares at 75 yards. I'm going just the Pro V1X. Can you switch to me? Yep. Yeah, can And Titleist has kind of broken away from their traditional clean balls, and now they do offer some visual technology. Oh, there's a little wristy disty. Flippy dippy. Flippy dippy. Can I tell you another thing I'm biased towards? Tell me. I like a red number. Okay. I just like it red. I don't like it black. That does feel nice. And honestly, I'm, I'll be honest. Just I'm be just honest. I'm not good enough to, to feel enough of a difference off feel of the golf ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm certainly not making a decision based off how it feels off the club face. For sure. Okay, here we go. Chrome Tour X for me, triple track. Let's roll. So it's right. going Chrome Tour X. Again, really good visual alignment technology here. This is my favorite, is the full 360 triple track system. I think that really helps. It's probably my favorite for alignment for putting. Okay, last one, LA Golf. This was the surprise of the bunch though. Like the, the fact that it made it the top five, being brand new in the, you know, entering the golf ball market. Yeah. I think they've made a mistake in their positioning though. Price wise? Yeah. Yeah. They're too expensive. You see that club twirl on that one? They're too expensive for not being significantly better. Yeah. I think they're, be they're better or as good, but they're not, 30% better, like the price is. My question is, is how good is your club twirl? Mine's not great, because it doesn't happen often. But if you had the opportunity, you, can, you could confidently drop a club, club twirl? Oh yeah. Like Justin Thomas or Tiger? Yeah. I'm not good at it either. That was a little delayed. Your club twirl? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta do it based on feel, if you don't trust it. That's why sometimes you'll see a club twirl and it's just a terrible shot. They must have felt good. Okay, Trev, so we have the data on. Let's dive through it. Okay, At a 75 so I, yard wedge shot. So I'm not really, ball speed is not that important. I don't think on a At wedge 75 shot. 75 yards, no. They're all pretty close. The Pro V1's a little low, but I, it's because I had a lot of fatties in there. A lot Spin of fatties. Spin-wise, it's good though. Look at that. Spins, I mean, everything's like right neck and neck, all around 7,800 RPMs. LA Golf was a little bit behind, even though th those ones like felt the best. Yeah. I was hitting some really good shots. And then launch angle, again, all neck and neck. They're carrying all about the same, except the fatties I hit with the Pro V. Okay, so there's mine. Spin-wise, the Chrome was the best, spin-wise. 
But again, you're neck and neck on everything. Yeah. TP5 looks good. Your tricks on was a little low. You probably had some misses in there. But the you furthest distance, misses. that's again, why. Again, I mean, everything's like... That's what I mean. I don't think you should pick a ball based off of... Feel. What it's going to do around the green. They're all going to perform fantastic. Yeah. I think that's what it teaches us. I think what it, how it behaves around the greens is probably the least important. From brand to brand, I should say. Not from the X to the regular. There we see some differences. But as far as brand to brand, they're all exceptional. Like okay. absolutely exceptional. 190, what are you going first? Strixon. Let's go Strixon, Trevor, seven iron. Okay, so now that we're at seven iron, I'm starting to pay attention to ball speed a little bit. So ball speed starts to become important. Here in Colorado, distance still is not that important. It's one of the least factors, but if you're at sea level playing in heavy fog and stuff, ball speed helps. Here in Colorado, again, it's a minor deal, but I'm looking at it more. Ball flight, I'm paying attention to, and spin, because I want stopping power around the greens with a seven iron. Here we go, TP5X time, seven iron. Okay, Titleist Pro V1 left dash with a seven iron. Let's go. How do you like the feel of the left dash? Too Not firm. bad, it feels firm. Here we go, Chrome Tour X. Chrome Tour X. Let's roll. LA Golf, engage, get loose. Put some good swings on it. Cowabunga, baby. Catch what piece. You, 10? Cowabunga. What movie is that from? The surfing movie, remember? No, it's not. Cowabunga, seriously? Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're kind of Donatello's. He's a skateboarder. Yeah. Name all four of them. Go. Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo, Mikey. No. Michelangelo. Not. There you go. Michelangelo is red. What does right? each one have for their weapons? Couldn't tell you that. Raphael. I know the weapons. Raphael. He's uh, the, the grouchiest. No. no. No, swords. What are they called? They're like the little tridents. Yeah. Swords. Donatello. He's got a stick. No, I'll tell you. Okay, Donatello has a staff. Yep. Michelangelo has nunchucks. Okay. He's the silliest. And then Leonardo. Oh my God. Leonardo is the double samurais. What are their colors? Red, purple, no, green. No, who's what? Another question I don't know the answer to. I know red is Mikey, Michelangelo. Nope. nope. I don't know anything. Well, wait, 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 I need one more. Red is Raphael. What's their dad's name? Turtle. No, their dad isn't a turtle. Oh, Splinter's not their dad. He just raised them in the yeah, gutter. Yeah, he's their stepdad. They call him daddy. Master Splinter is what they call yeah. him. And then Shredder is just the original Zerg, right? <laughs> kind of. Disney had to have gotten Zerg from Shredder. What color is Michelangelo? Purple. No. Yellow? There is no yellow. You're close. It's been a while. All right. One, two, Data's three, in. four, five. Don't look. Don't look. Blind test. Which one? Okay, Seven so I've been hitting, oh, we've been gearing up for this video. So we've been doing a lot of stuff off camera. So we have a good idea of what our top five is going to be. The Strixon, I think, is going to be surprisingly fast. I think it's a fast golf ball. It's, it will surprise a lot of people. Um, I'm going to say Strixon is going to be one of the best. The TP5 and the LA Golf. Okay. The Go fastest ahead. is the Strixon. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. And the spinniest is the LA Golf. The spinniest is the LA Golf. But what I, I want the best launch angle, so the highest launch angle. Which TP5. is also the LA Golf. No, TP5. Oh, you're no. right. Well, I'll be a the son TP5 of a gun. The TP5 was good. Pro V, the slowest was the Chrome, Chrome Tour. But again, they're all fairly neck and neck. We're not seeing monster differences here. Five yard carry difference, six yard carry difference. The, the shortest was the Chrome Tour. Now again, that could be a we, took out, we took out some terrible miss hits, but we left you know, some, some off-center balls in there. So some of it, this is a small sample size. Okay, are you guys can ask me before I look? I've been yeah, avoiding go ahead. looking. I think Strixon is my best. Okay. That's it. Wow, there's one thing consistent. The LA golf ball is the fastest for both of us. 
No, Strixon was faster for you. Was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. But the LA Golf was the second fastest. Yeah. What, what has the best launch angle? Your Strixon? No, your TP5. TP5, Strixon, and LA Golf are all within a couple decimal points. That's weird. The Chrome was the slowest for you, too. But the best spin. So I must have caught huh. a couple really good ones. We're so this is, this is, I think, the most important part of the test is what happens with driver. And I just love taking this out of the bag with that club head cover on. Am I right? Trivia, what WrestleMania was this? WrestleMania 1, you dummy. No, it was WrestleMania 3, you dummy. Dang it! What was WrestleMania 1? Where was it? Madison Square Garden. No. Of course. That's WrestleMania 1. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I was like negative Detroit. 30 years old. Attendance record for the Silver Dome. Silver Dome's in rubbles. Yeah, a long time ago. All right, Srix on, Tate. Now it's time for the TP5X for me. All right, now on the cue, Pro V1X, left dash for me. All right, Chrome Tour, the new Chrome Tour X. On the most important category, is LA Golf going to keep surprising us? All right, Tate, blindly, what ball did you like the best just off of feel? On driver alone. Yep. Can I, be, can I tell you a surprise? Yeah. <laughs> and this is, there's nothing involved for us. There's no financial push, nothing. It was the LA Golf. LA Golf? Yeah. Felt I'm going to save my thoughts for myself. We're doing me first. Yep. So can I so, look? Yep. And again, nothing huge. Still not a humongous difference. So Terrible you're Terrible ball speed day for me. Yeah, you you your fastest ball is the Chrome Soft, but you had one that you absolutely annihilated at like 167. Yeah, so I, I like to be north of 160. That's skewing the data a little bit. Your furthest ball is TP5. <laughs> the TP5 gives you the best combination of ball speed and spin. It's not your lowest spin, but the, it's the fastest combined with the lowest spin. So yeah. that's a nice marriage that we're looking at. And it's the furthest. And it's the fur surprisingly, your Pro V was the worst. But your Strix on your gamers neck and neck. I mean, it's two yards off and your spin rate and ball speed are almost identical. But it looks like for driver, of course, this is a small sample size, TP5. Now we've been doing a lot of samples off camera so we yeah. can have some good context besides this one video. Yeah. And you're finding that to be true off camera too. I did. I have found that to be. What's your least favorite? Chromie? Yeah, Callaway. And you know what? Again, this goes to show how unbiased this video is. We probably have the most amount of Chrome tours in stock. To sell. To sell. Yeah. And he's saying it's his <laughs> least favorite. <laughs> Thankful, right. Thankfully for me, ball's vary for every golfer, so. Yes. But I think we're learning a valuable lesson. As long as we're apples to apples, you know, if you're not playing the softest titles versus the firmest Strixon, if you're doing apples to apples in a tour lineup, what we're starting to learn is they're all pretty darn good. And they're pretty, all very pretty good. darn close. Yeah. Nothing's jumping off the page, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So the goal is, is to find the ball that conglomerates everything. I think ball best. speed and spin and marrying those two together helps with straightness and distance. All right, my turn. Blindly. Can I ask um, you a question? Yeah. Is straightness a word? Straightness, yeah. Kind of like Japanese forgery. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. My bad. We got a new iron video coming out, and we're going to be talking a lot of Japanese forgery. Forgery is at its all-time high. Okay, so blindly, I the surprise of the day is I loved the way the LA golf ball felt off the face. I loved the way it felt. But if I was going to kind of blindly rank them in order... TP5, number one, Srixon two, LA Golf three, Pro V4, Chrome Soft five. That's my guess. Am it's I not close? far off, but no, no, look. What's the best? The best is LA Golf. First of all, your, your TP and your Srixon are one yard off carry, 40 RPMs different, and one mile an hour ball speed. So, so those two you could switch interchange and you would notice. Again, uh, the lesson here is they're interchangeable. Yeah. They really are. Yep. Let's putt. 
see what we like on feel and start eliminating and ranking them. Durability wise, just to let you know, um, again, this could be part of the visual technology. They all held up pretty good. The paint was coming off the most on the Chrome Tours, but they all held up in testing. Chrome Tour is probably the worst as far as durability. If you look at my 60, this wedge was taking some skin. It was playing for keeps. All right, Trev, here's our five balls. I'm just putting just to get a feel off the face. I'm not even trying to make it because I don't want to pick them all up out of there. How'd it feel? Felt fine. That felt, TP5 felt a little softer. Pro V feels pretty good. Eh, I can't tell. Honestly, I'm not good enough. I can't tell. That feels the softest, the Strix on. LA Golf. Ooh, that feels really good. I can't tell enough off of feel. Yeah, this is a hard test. I'm not good enough. Especially with this, this soft putter. That was pretty good. That was the LA Golf. Titleist Pro V1 left dash. Ooh, click here. Callaway. Well, the left dash is gonna be pretty firm. That one felt pretty good. That one felt really good. That one felt the best, the TP5 for me. TP5 feels real good. Okay, let's line them up and let's eliminate them. We have the data. The lesson is, is that they're all neck and neck when we go apples to apples, So right? you're putting the one you eliminate? Yep. So drum roll time. Okay, so which one is number five? Which one am I eliminating first? It pains me to do this because it's probably my favorite visual technology. Callaway. All right, me too. Callaway's gone. Number five? Yep. Okay, why? It performed the worst in every single test. <laughs> but it still performed great. They're all great balls. There's not yeah. a bad ball of the bunch. I could play it for sure. Now, this is, a, this is a surprise for me. I didn't see this coming either. Okay, do it. What? Oh, you fooled me there. I was thinking the exact same thing. Pro V's gotta go. Yeah, same for me. That is weird to say that Pro V was number four. Yeah. It's the number one ball on tour. Okay, can I do three? This is where it gets really tight. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm gonna do yet. Now, does this mean whatever we rank number one is what we're gaming? You'll have to watch for the what's in the, what's in the bag. What did you just eliminate? Strixie. You're on staff with Strixon. I am on staff with Strixon. I have maybe 10, 15 dozens left of those. And she gone? She's gone. Oh boy. And I didn't plan on that. I thought for sure I was gonna finish top two. Okay. Data don't I lie. think for me, my favorite ball left visually is the picks. I love the picks. I think it can help me align putts the best. Square your putter face, sure. Mm. This is crazy. That's mine, don't putt mine. This is crazy. It should have been an easy decision to get rid of LA Golf. Yeah, you're telling me. I just, delivered, I just got rid of my current gamer because LA Golf surprised me in this testing. I didn't want to do it. I'm not paying $79 so a dozen. I'll tell you that right I'm now. I'm going to eliminate this one, but only because of price. And out of the three left, it, has, it gives me no visual alignment without having them do my own sharp. LA Golf? Wow. But that is, or should I keep it in there? It's in here for me, so you already eliminated it. You putted it away. Once the putter plays, the game is there to stay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> little, little Man, I'm reaction. almost regretting that choice. You putted it away. And now I will dramatically put away the LA Golf. If this goes in though, I'm gonna regret it. So the TP5 is your favorite? TP5 is the numero uno for Tate. Okay, number five, Callaway Chrome Tour X. Number four, Titleist Pro V1 X left dash. Number three, we got the 
Srixon XV. So the Srixon Z Star XV. Number two was the LA Golf. Number one, four Tate of 2024, the TaylorMade TP5X. Now, if you see me with this on the course, it might be a PIX. Nothing's in the bag yet, so I don't know. But I think if I was gonna choose to the, the, play the TP, it'd be the PIX, right? You have to. I'm struggling, so I'm thinking. I'm not thinking about myself. Don't think about yourself. Because I get free Strixons. Yeah, think about the data. But you know what, we're getting a bunch of free TP5s too. We're getting free a free few dozen of everything. So price isn't a factor for me, but for the average amateur, this is $55 a dozen, and this is 50. So the best value of all the tour balls is still the Z-Stars, right? Correct. I like the visual alignment technology of both. I definitely use that on shorter putts, especially when it's straight in the cup. Strixon is $5 cheaper. Did perform slightly better in driver for me. It definitely has a little bit softer feel. I like listening to you work through this though. I but don't. I'm, I'm ready for you to make a decision. I don't love the white and yellow combo. And I'm gonna go, this is, sounds dumb, but I'm going TP5 based off of the picks because they're almost identical stats wise. And there's something to standing over a golf ball, standing over a putt, or standing over it on a driver, and, and letting the visual look of the golf ball inspire confidence. There's something to that. You can't ignore that, right, Tate? You cannot. Confidence is key, especially with the putter. Look at that, that would have dropped. That just ran over that ball. Okay, so that's my order. Number five, Chrome Tour. Number four, Pro V1 X. Number three, LA Golf, only on price. If it was priced the same, I'd probably flip-flop them. Number two, Srixon Z-Star. And number one, TP5. So we had identical ratings, except you flip-flopped the, the Srixon and the LA Golf. You had LA Golf as number two? Yep. What's the most important lesson we took away, though? Two lessons. One, you must get fitted for you a ball. You have to see the data. You have to know and feel what the data is because that's going to instill confidence, and that's huge. And the number two, and I think the most important thing, is figure out what category of compression you need in a tour ball if you're a tour ball player, and then Stick it really to that doesn't matter. I hate, the, your brands hate us saying that, but it's like clubs. Clubs are getting so good. If you're in the right good. category of club. They're all good. Tour golf balls, as long as you're in the right category, like Tate said, they are all fantastic. So maybe go with, if go you with, can get a deal on something, or if there's some visual technology you like better, go that route. Preference, yeah. If there's one that you're biased towards because it just instills more confidence in you, like if you're a Titleist guy and you're just diehard pro V, do it. Yeah, if you love your tailor-made irons and you wanna to stick to that throughout the bag, get TPs. If you're a Callaway guy, play the Callaway, but make sure you find the right category of ball. That's the lesson we take away from here. And then there's still, I would, I would do a test similar to the way we did it today. Get your top five or your top three and stay within those. Play some rounds with them, figure out what's best. And like Trevor said, you have to get off the tee box. It does not matter if you're around the greens when you're chipping four and eight. You have to be getting off the box. Figure out which one's gonna put you in play the most because it does make a huge difference. But if you want to have some fun with something that's a lot of people aren't messing around with, check out the Z Stars and LA Golf Ball. They both are fantastic. Yeah, and both slept on. They're both, yeah, Strixon more so because this is a better value. Yeah. Strixon is the best value of all Especially when they do that balls. buy two, get three, get the third yeah, free. Yeah, because most people do buy three, get fourth free, but around every Father's Day, Strixon buys two, get one free. So you only got to buy two dozen, you get a free dozen. So And the two packs they run right about now, they're running. Yeah, the Masters packs, the <laughs> Z-Star Diamonds. Yep. Fantastic ball. So there's our top five. This was an exhaustive I'm uh, tired. video. But selfishly, I've been wanting to do this video because I want to figure out what I'm putting in my bag. Yeah. And now I have a better idea. I'm still not, you got to wait for our what's in the bag video. Even though I rank TP5 number one, if it's actually going to make the bag. Because um, I love the Z-Stars. That's currently what's in my bag. I really like the Z-Stars too. You ranked the number three. <laughs> that was from today. Today's data 
showed me otherwise. Yeah, well, we have a lot of context that you're playing into this. But we both ranked, the surprise is we both ranked TP5 numero uno. Yeah. It's my favorite golf ball. Yeah. All right, we'll see Thank you guys, you guys next so time. Thank you guys so much. Hit the subscribe, the like, helps us out a ton. Let's roll.